Hello everybody, I'm Duncan Smead, as you can see. I'm from uh, Computer Science at Strathclyde University, and I'm an academic. Uh, I've been teaching computer science for longer than I care to remember, but I did have a period in industry, and I'm one of the designers of the Dragon 32. So any of you here remember that. Uh, my initials are in the ROM. Okay. Um, so, pioneering projects by undergraduate students. This is not really a talk, it's a demonstration of the projects that the students have done. And this uh, is a fourth year option in the honours year for our computer science and computer electronic systems students. Uh, I teach embedded systems, so around about 65 students in the class, it's one of the most popular, despite me, it's one of the most popular in the uh, undergraduate degree for our fourth year students. And this is just a screenshot, I don't intend to read too much from it, basically it is to bring together physical computing, embedded systems, uh, and the Raspberry Pi is a wonderful resource from that point of view. So. Around about 30% of the assessment for this module is a gadget. And I don't preordain or determine what the gadget is to be. I give them essentially a requirement, uh, an Arduino device and optionally a Raspberry Pi. It's probably going to be a Raspberry Pi and optionally an Arduino next year. Uh, basically, I want them to plan, design and implement a gadget of their own making. And in my experience, this really inspires the students. There's two phases. The first phase is the idea, which I will assess and give them some advice on the feasibility uh, of the idea. And then the phase two is the implementation of it. And I'm keen that they produce a nice presentation, so I encourage them to use blogs, um, code repositories, uh, and websites to deliver their documentation. Unfortunately, lots of the groups that did these uh, projects have done just that, and I'm going to use some videos from those. So these are the sorts of projects and ideas the students came up with. And we have some examples uh, in terms of the videos and the projects. So this one's probably one of the best ones. It's certainly the best in terms of the video. So without further ado, and hopefully the sound will come out because the sound's quite impressive. Here's Laserbot. Showing on my screen and not on yours. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, no, but it's not in full. Uh, it should be in, in full. Uh, I'll have to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, should have been in presenter view. So <laughs> it's much more impressive. Uh, oh. It's uh, always technical issues, aren't there? Okay, here we go.
So it's quite impressive. Uh, I did get a credit. Costume designer. <laughs> Cheeky buggers. <laughs> Another tank, and um, lots of these projects are robotics projects. And remember, these students are really computer science students. They're not computer electronic systems students. Um, it's the first time they've done any sort of embedded systems. So here's another tank project. Um, I probably won't uh, do this all the way through. Right, fire it forward. This project has missiles that it launches. It's got a webcam on it that's streaming the webcam. Uh, and this video is not showing the webcam on the laptop, but it is, believe me, streaming it. They'll load the hopper up in a minute. They didn't have time to have a trigger mechanism. So they load the hopper up and turn it on. And then they aim it probably at somebody's crotch in a minute. Move it forward. Completely wireless. Spin it down. So they're learning about wireless technologies, ad hoc networks. Okay, so that's enough of that. that. So there's that quite a few yeah, of these yeah. projects to, uh, to get on with. Uh, we've seen some examples of, uh, of, ter uh, of scale electric. So here's one. Um, this is uh, uh, one of several uh, videos from these pages. So all of these uh, videos are available on the web, and I've given you the, the URL. The actual PowerPoint presentation is 140 megabytes in size because it's got these things embedded. Uh, uh, I, I do apologize. There is an S word in this one. Oop. Oops. <laughs> we'll yeah. yeah, go. Oh, no. Hold on a sec. That one. Now, there's the Raspberry Pi. Oh, oh yeah, of course. I can't use this at the same time. So there's the Raspberry Pi. Can I put it on? That was me running the car off the track. Now the Raspberry Pi is controlling. It's got a PS3 controller. So we've interfaced, or the students have interfaced a PS3 controller. I'm abysmal at this, but the student I was racing was even worse than I was. Um, so it's quite nice. And I have a lot of fun with that. Uh, then this, the, this one, it's uh, also quite nice. And this one is controlled by a phone. Yeah, yeah, go. Uh, this doesn't have a wireless connection, so as an electric car, it's somewhat limited by the length of the lead. Uh, and you'll see that the students uh, at Strathclyde don't have great driving capabilities. That's a, that's a, that's a, okay, so that was that one. And we had uh, things like uh, an Arduino and Raspberry Pi RFID radio. I'm not probably play the whole of this one, because, uh, but this is an RFID tag. Oops. This is an RFID tag, so you can actually tailor this radio to your RFID tag and have your own playlist and so on. So, and so they'll show you, they just wave the RFID tag and then it's just streaming the video. This is Raspberry Pi and Arduino. It's got various interfaces for the screens and so on. have caused problems in cars, in laptops, in a Navy submarine at one point. Uh, this is hard. Uh, we used a lot of Lego in producing things. Great. Resource for the students, and they thoroughly enjoyed it. And, 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 you know, okay, so again, a multifunction clock, and here's one of our students explaining a All bit right, about so, um, it. This is our Arduino Raspberry Pi project, about halfway through development. We've now got uh, Facebook working on it, so at the moment, it's basically Arduino connected to a breadboard with a screen that this is just a message to say that we've developed it and this is a clock with the default time on it so that'll change 
uh, an update as time updates. So if you if um, you look around here, then this is all connected to a Raspberry Pi where we run our scripts from, with a USB hub which has the Arduino connected to it and a keyboard and a mouse as well. It looks as if it's connected to the computer, but it's because we can't get the mouse away because it's actually padlocked on for some reason. The University in Glasgow. So, what we do is our Python scripts are all run through Raspberry Pi, which then connects to the Arduino. So, I'll just demo it just so you can see what's happening. So, at the minute, it's just on this screen. So, if we run it, we'll just have a wee look and see what happens. So it then goes, and it just goes through this uh, this message again. It's uh, to say that we were the authors of it. And once this finishes, it should go onto the Facebook notification system. Our students are very keen on Facebook. There we go. So what it does is it grabs your friend request, which is zero there, your messages, which one on red message and your notifications and the good thing about notifications is that it gets the last notification that was posted so even if you run it for the first time and you don't have a new one it'll still manage to get one so this is just saying that some person liked your status with the comment to it so okay that's enough of that and another as uh, for some reason the students really like mayhem so here's another robot it's recording. Okay, you can see it's streaming. This is not Don't particularly professionally yes, produced okay. video. As you can tell, it's not quite the standard of the first one. But it's got a scary look. And actually, they demonstrated to me, they load uh, missiles into that um, missile launcher. It's a pneumatic launcher. And those missiles can hurt, you know, it comes at a fair rate of knots. <coughs> and it's a web controlled tank, so once you've seen one web controlled tank, you've seen them all. Then there's a, a vending machine, and the video for this is actually quite boring. Well, that's, that's lots of music and slow mo. Um, and obviously, some advertising. <laughs> so yeah, I wish they'd get to the to the chase. So I'm not sure if we can move it on slightly. So this is it vending a Mars bar. So basically it had a, a motor. Uh, so it's a bit of a cheat because this is really just an Arduino. I like this one, um, Kamikaze Cube. So we'll run this one. <coughs> Again, nice music. If you like that sort of thing. Apparently the student that built the cube took 50 hours to solder 512 LEDs. This was an audio analyzer. And we don't have time to see all of it. So basically we'll have a look at some of the things they've done. So it's audio analysis. There's, an Ar there's a Raspberry Pi doing the audio analysis, communicating to an Arduino, and the Arduino is driving the uh, 512 LEDs. And that's, uh, that's quite cool. It's obviously in the dark because the LEDs were, were the cheapest we could buy and weren't very bright. Uh, unlike the students who did this project, they're really quite amazing. So that's quite nice. And you can see these, um, again, you'll, if you follow the links, you can see these in, in, uh, in the full entirety. So let's not spend too much. So those are the sort of uh, projects my students have been doing for the fourth year embedded systems. Um, it's only um, 
let's see, it's only a quarter of their overall assessment. It's a 20 credit, actually it's a six, it's a 20 credit module of which the projects are worth 30% of the overall assessment. So one thing that struck me is the students engage much more deeply, much more enthusiastically for Raspberry Pi embedded systems projects than they do for most of their other projects. I was amazed at the effort and the, the application and the enthusiasm for all of the teams. I'm, I've only shown you about a third of the projects uh, that the students have done. I also, uh, on one thing you probably, oh, it, yeah, I didn't show you the other one, but you might have picked up on the Pi and mobile phone controlled car it was Pimp Car 2012 at WordPress, which was a, a rather unfortunate uh, acronym. Uh, but I'm famous for my acronyms, uh, so they tried to outdo me. And so here are some of my final year projects. Three of these are actually uh, been, has been taken up. So there's a home energy analyzer. So this is uh, doing things like smart plugs and so on. We've got Pivotal, a high-controlled vehicle or tank autonomously led, very convoluted uh, acronyms. Uh, nobody took up Icarus, which is a shame, but I've got a student doing pizzazz, and he's actually a sound uh, a lighting engineer, so we, we're hoping to, uh, to light up Livingston Tower, which is a 14-story building in the middle of Glasgow, and having these uh, um, circulating. Uh, there are other, there's some final, I forgot to put a slide in here, but there are some other background reading. We don't have time to go into these things, but I gave an hour long Christmas lecture uh, in the, along the same lines as the Royal Society. Um, and you can check that out online. There is a, a YouTube video, but it is an hour long and I only have a minute left. Uh, and also there's some information about a uh, project I tried to put together for last summer, getting students to do uh, some work to help produce teacher resources, CPD resources, uh, and we don't have time to go through those. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure don't think we have time for questions, but I guess I'll probably see some of you around if you want to ask me questions a bit later on. Okay. Thank you.